This is Salamancer, and I think it's about time you learned how to play the trumpet. So that is what we are dedicating today's showcast to, learning to play the trumpet. The so uh, to play the trumpet, you need an actual trumpet first. And of course, it has a little mouthpiece on it, too. The mouthpiece is a separate component. You're going to have to get one of those separately. It uh, doesn't cost terribly much, but it is not, not super cheap, either. Once you've got both of them, you just stick the mouthpiece in the trumpet itself, and uh, you need to make a little buzzing noise with your lips. It's going to be a fairly small portion of your lips that actually does the buzzing once you put it in the mouthpiece, but you should be able to sort of uh, make a sound out of the mouthpiece without putting it in the trumpet, and then when you put it in, it'll, it'll give the sound fullness and richness, and you'll be able to, uh, to hear the note that you are making. Um, anyway, I guess I guess the gag's over now. So this this is a kind of blast from the past game. It is the Syndicate versus the Mexican Cat Ranch, the self-sustaining Mexican Cat Ranch, which, I tell you what, uh, if Mexicans are anything like dwarves, it it can't be all that hard to make a self-sustaining cat ranch, because, uh, oh, it looks like we're paused. Uh, yeah, uh, what I was saying there was that, uh, of course, cats tend to breed like crazy, so, you know, it's not that hard to make a self-sustaining cat ranch. On the other hand, um... Making them edible, which is what you normally want to do with a ranch, that might be a little bit tougher. I hear they're kind of gamey, you know, not the greatest types of food. But uh, no, the self-sustaining Mexican cat ranch is on offense right now. The syndicate is on defense, and of course, if you have not seen enough stabby shoutcasting recently, uh, this is this is the game for you. Stabby's in this game, so there you go. The nozzle popping his Uber on uh, the syndicate. I guess he realized that there was a demo man, kind of an attack coming in. He wanted to make sure he bought some time for his engineer who is just kind of sitting here slapping his dispenser and for some reason that spy did not manage to get the medic I thought he was gonna get that stab for sure didn't happen at all instead stabby gets a nice little defensive stab there takes down the heavy uh, well, it won't be super useful but it does slow down that push just a little bit and now point E is getting captured so somebody's gonna have to take care of that it looks like Kyle's coming back to do it right now uh, and he was really just playing distraction for JJK uh, you know what? I don't think I'm ever going to not make a joke about JJK being JFK and being a sniper. It's... Well, I mean, I didn't this time. I just mentioned it. But uh, even making a reference to it, I feel like it's making a joke now. And <laughs> the heavy with no hands uh, sails into the wall there. Look, looks kind of serene as he was doing it, actually. And it is going to be spy versus spy. Oh, no, spy versus sniper. Looks like, actually, uh, Stabby did not want that fight there. Unless a uh, nice little kill. Sexy Shane takes down whatever... Chinese or Japanese character that is. I'm. I. I know. I, I just don't know Chinese or Japanese at all. It looked Chinese, I guess, or maybe like Vietnamese. I don't even know if they use the uh, as complex characters as that. But it's definitely one of those East Asian things. Somebody tell me. I'm sure. I'm sure somebody will know what it means. Stafford's bees right here is gonna be eating a sandwich while his team pushes forward. Do not have an Uber yet. They're trying to take advantage of the fact that their opponents also do not have an Uber yet. But they've got a much better advantage. The medic is getting really aggressive here. Which, I mean, it's it's helping his team push forward quite a bit. And there you go, he does build the Uber up, so uh, the fact that he did not have that Uber as they were pushing was was not really taken advantage of. Heavy gets covered in PP. Somehow the medic didn't there as the Uber was fading. And now there's milk and there's more Gerati, and oh, that is so gross. It's the most disgusting thing you will ever see in TF2. Just ever. Ugh. And the Syndicate is getting pushed back pretty hard, actually. The self-sustaining Mexican Cat Ranch. Um, I didn't check their records before this. I think the the ranch might be at 2-4 and four in this game. Um, the Syndicate probably doing a little bit better. They do have Stabby. So, did not check the records on this game. So, my apologies, but you can, of course, go to UGCLeague.com. Check them out yourself. It looks like there's a bunch of players on fire, so these, uh, these ranchers here are having a little bit of difficulty getting forward. Here goes the Uber, though, and the Nozzle still does not have an Uber of his own. They're going to push forward into him, but Nozzle needs to retreat right now. He will get out there with 80 health. He's... Oh, no! He actually gets taken down Stafford's bees. Gets the kill there. The heavy. He smelled blood in the water. He knew he could get that kill on the medic. Sounds like uh, the Deadly Pow. Or Diddly Pow, I'm sorry. The uh, blue medic took maybe a hit there as well, but he is going to be okay. And Pay Pay, which is... Actually, sounds a lot like Duder's pronunciation of PP, believe it or not. Um, Pei Pei is going to help push his team forward. They are going to go for point C right now, which I shouldn't have too much trouble with if they can take down these players, the the Sniper and the Pyro, but they haven't gotten them so far. And Pei is really just kind of worried about, well, oh, that's just too easy. No, we're not going there. 
Uh, but he's kind of worried about keeping himself and his medic safe, and no, his medic is taken down. So uh, A and B captured in 3 minutes 50 seconds. It's not terrible, but when you lose your medic, it's, uh, it's going to be a problem. Can Ooh. What is that heavy doing? Wow. Okay, well, Pepe just got an amazing kill. Stabby went down, although he was using the Dead Ringer, but uh, most of the rest of the team went down, too. The Nozzle even dies to that demo man. So one of the few people left alive right now is Sexy Shane, who... Once again, is just sitting here slapping a dispenser. I'm sorry, Shane. I am not finding you in the best of moments. I know. He actually... Oh, he's using a mini sentry defense on point C, so he can set those up very quickly, but they will not have any sort of staying power. Uh, so once the team... You know, once blue team pushes through red team, those mini sentries aren't going to do a heck of a lot. They're just really there for a little bit of extra damage and kind of the annoyance factor. Uh, and... Uh-oh! 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 Oh! Diddly uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, pal! Taken down. So that's the Syndicate putting up a pretty staunch defense on C right now. Uh, they're going to have to worry about E in a little bit, but they've still got maybe 30 seconds or so before E is in danger of getting actually captured. So they can sit here and put up that defense on C, which is it's the right choice to make. Uh, point C is a lot closer to getting capped. They want to make absolutely sure they don't lose it, if at all possible, because they can always just rotate through spawn towards D or straight towards E if they need to defend it. There's like multiple ways they can get in there and defend that point quite easily. So not too worried about it yet, and Pig O Death going to launch some stickies towards the uh, closest entrance to see. He's getting his head kind of nicked here and there by this uh, sniper. It's, it's not probably feeling too good. Stabby, looks like he was going for a kill on somebody. May have had to activate the dead ringer there. Where is he right now? Stabby, don't you die on me, Stabby. Here we go. Okay, so he is going to grab uh, some ammunition. Probably going to have the dead ringer ready, ready to go again pretty soon. There you go. Back up to full. And... He notices E getting captured, so that of course means that the blue team is going to be focused on the enemy spawn. He can sneak back in here, maybe go for the kill on the spy, I don't think he wants that one, he wants the medic, he hears the- OH NO, JUST A LITTLE BIT TOO LATE! He, he could hear the little fizzling going on from the medic's uber, so he's going to have to wait for these ubers to- OH, THERE YOU GO, HE DOESN'T HAVE TO WAIT AT ALL, HE ACTUALLY GOT THE- OH MAN, STABBY GOT THE STAB on the soldier when the medic flashed an uber to him while he was disguised. He stole that uber! Gotta love it when that happens. And so Stabby already paying for himself here. Meanwhile, uh, E, relatively close to getting captured. Mm, this scout come on here and get some extra capture time, but Bravo, with a good rocket there, takes him down. And uh, Pepe is going to try to continue some of this work on E, but they are losing capture time on it now. They need to jump somebody over there if they really want to put up a fight here. Right now, it seems like that's not what's going to happen. Stafford's B is probably going to die. Looks like he may have died to Afterburn, which from the degreaser is especially embarrassing. That happened to me earlier today on a Reddit server, and uh, the, the Reddit guys were like, Salamancer, come on. You died to a degreaser Afterburn. What are you thinking? It wasn't my fault, I swear. There was also a heavy shooting at me, but, you know, whatever. It was it's kind of embarrassing. Um... But yeah, it looks like a decent defense now set up once again by our red team. Pepe just trying to defend this little forward position. I kind of like that play here, uh, leaving the sticky bombs right there. So if anything jumps in towards his medic, it will die. But they've got to watch behind them too, because last time around, that was how their medic died. Uh, watch that earlier. Nonetheless, the heavy there, Sugar J, having to walk back into his spawn. And actually, he didn't do that. He's going to take some heals now, but that was from the dispenser, and he is down for the count. Uh, the Red Medic can come back out here with an Uber, though, at any time, and there he goes. He will do that. He's bringing the Soldier out, and the Soldier will take down Pei Pei just fine. And then do some spam down over here to the Heavy, who has been lit on fire by that detonator. Such a nasty little weapon. I, I've never been able to figure out how to make the detonator really work effectively, I gotta say. But it looks like a big push right now coming from Blue, and a big push actually could play into Red's favor here with the uh, buff banner going on, they can get a lot of damage put down real fast on these guys with those mini crits. An extra 35% damage, I think, on top of the normal hits that you get with those mini crits. Um, and so that buff banner pretty much saved the point there for the Syndicate, the self-sustaining Mexican cat ranch, which I never get tired of saying. Uh, is having some difficulty on offense here, and I gotta tell you, on, on CP Steel, Going up the right side to try and capture point C, that is one of the hardest points to capture, if not the hardest. I would say it is probably the most difficult point on this map to capture. Oh, that's... Okay. I was totally looking at this. I wanted to see what is up with this thing up here. Okay, so you actually probably can't get up there. That looks pretty cool, though, huh? All right, sorry. There's action going on. Um, and it, Oh, nice pill by Pepe. Good little uh, 
motion prediction there on that scout, and he's going to try knocking out this heavy, or at least forcing the Uber. He's, and he, oh, he's backed up into a corner now. Sugar J takes him down, and the Uber is popped. Although it's kind of a free Uber, as Diddly Pow did die there. The Spy down as well, and Sexy Shane. So this is the benefit of being, ooh, being the gunslinger engineer there, is that when the Spy comes in and tries to sap your stuff, it actually isn't that big a deal, because you just rebuild a mini-century, and you're like, okay, we're done. It's all good. Maybe the dispenser, too. Dispensers need love, too. But Pigo Death now uh, trying to set up a little bit of defense on point E, just in case anything comes over here. Really, the uh, the better point for them to defend at this point is going to be point C. There's only two minutes left, and you just know the Mexican Cat Ranch, those players are going to be going... Oh, we'll just go through the walls there. Going for point C. In fact, they're going for it pretty hard right now. They've got uh, a nice little sticky trap up at this doorway. They don't have one directly above spawn, but it uh, doesn't matter too much. Yeah. Oh, the nozzle gets taken down. Gotta love those sticky traps. And so uh, that's going to be the Mexican Cat Ranch getting the capture on point C. And by the way, guys, that is an object lesson in why you always need to check around those corners when you're walking around them and you've got your medic behind you. Um, you just, like, when you're walking out of a door like this, you always just go, whoop, like that, so that your medic, you know, you just know that way whether there's going to be a trap there or not, and your medic won't die to it needlessly. Stabby trying to jump out and do what he can, but of course he was walking out of spawn. Not a lot you can do when, uh, when, when you're a spy, even, even if you're disguised, it's like, okay, well, you're walking out of spawn. And there go the, uh, the guardrails, which is going to help prevent people from uh, flying off the edge on point E. Pretty much a done deal here. There is Girati on the point, though, and actually, look at all the death going on right now. Attila the Bum and uh, Billy Bob Saverby. A whole lot of these players going down right now, so the Syndicate puts up a clutch point E defense. It's about halfway captured there. It doesn't look halfway. It looks a little bit more, but I think you have to go by the... Uh, like, you see the on that little square there where, where point E is down there. You know what I'm talking about with the triangle in it. You have to go by, like, the edges of the square and not by the actual tip of the point because the tip of the point isn't what matters for for uh, I'll just stop uh, back to the game got the medic rushing up through point D so this is an interesting little move uh, he could have probably taken the teleporter there but he wanted to follow somebody up I guess and get some uber charge building the entire time their opponents don't have a medic up right now so this is going to be almost a hundred percent uber advantage the nozzle is uh, going to be coming up here shortly but it will be too late most likely they need to get players stacking up this point and they kind of need to stop the skull oh! stop the scout from getting the kill diddly pow almost died and then almost died again to an air blast but it looks like they will be okay and once again the syndicate losing a lot of players here they're gonna have just a little bit of an opportunity here they're gonna have one more respawn wave uh with you know seven six five seconds left for these guys respawning um oh nice gerati there so once again, a tiny bit of an opportunity to maybe deal some damage, but with this heavy and soldier standing here watching that, nope, they will not have an opportunity at all. So that is going to be the round. 12 minutes and 32 seconds on CP Steel. Not an easy time to beat. And um, I, I know I say this like every time, guys, so if you are a uh, veteran viewer, just bear with me. But uh, the way this works is it is stopwatch mode. So in competitive stopwatch mode, each team gets a chance to go on offense and defense. So a stopwatch round, when I say it's a round, if, I, if I'm using the correct terminology, sometimes I don't because I'm an idiot. But if I say it's a round, that means it is um, each team attacks and defends once. And then whoever caps the most points the fastest wins. So if you cap all five points, then your opponents have to cap all five points faster than you. If you only cap one point, then your opponents can either cap that one point faster than you, or just cap two points, and either way they have defeated you. So that is the, uh, that is the way a stopwatch round works. And in UGC, which is what we're watching, UGC Highlander, they do play a best of three stopwatch rounds. So this will not be the last... Uh, this will not be the last round by any stretch. Stabby Stabby gonna use the uh, Dead Ringer. Oh no, not the Dead I'm sorry, he's he's cloaked. So anyway, that's totally not the Dead Ringer. And he's actually... Uh, okay, he does manage to sneak around here undetected. Can just barely spot his silhouette there. I'm gonna try and uh, find him. There we go. Oh, look at that! Everything's in slow motion because, once again, I am a moron. There we go. So he is gonna decloak here and, uh, well, that was kinda worthless. 
But look at that point. E immediately being captured. So there's a lot of defense going down on it right now. There's a Pyro over there doing some really good air blast work to try and keep the spam away. But uh, Kyle goes down and the Pyro is going to have difficulty capping it by himself. Nonetheless, the uh, Soldier, Demo, and Medic are all going out and the heavy are even going out to point C. Oh, this is why, because there's actually an Uber out here. This is a very, very aggressive strategy by the Syndicate. They don't want to play a very long round here. Oh, Pit MVP. Uh, and look at how little defenders there are right now. There's only three players left alive. The Syndicate still going to push for E. They got to be careful here that they don't start losing a lot of players in this without capping A, because of course then they could end up losing the round hideously. And Pigo Death, what are you doing, man? You're falling into a clumsy death. So the Syndicate, I mean, they're. <laughs> uh oh. Now they're getting pressured a little bit. They take down the heavy, which is nice, but they're going to lose their own most. No, they didn't. They're just not able to get any capture time on the point right now. So I really would like to see them putting just like maybe one person onto point A. And now they've lost their medic. So now they. I kind of need to stop this because this aggression is not working anymore. There they go. Somebody's now capturing point A. Kyle's going to come in here just, I think, to uh, ooh, try and keep some pressure up, but it is not going to be nearly enough. And Billy Bob, keeping his opponent on fire, grabs a health kit. I like to see that. Doesn't want to run in and try and chase down a... Uh, oh! Oh, this is, they were talking about this before the round, actually. Um, you can actually like burn people through that door which is stupid. It's, it's just stupid. So that's kind of ridiculous. Not something Valve probably ever playtested because they didn't realize it was gonna, ever going to happen, but it happens. Um, and it is legal in UGC. It is not an illegal move, so you can totally do that. It's not like a huge deal because you're not really gaining that much of an advantage by doing it. It's just kind of a surprise. Like, oh, look, I'm, I'm being lit on fire through the door. So that sucks for them. Uh, Diddley deciding not to pop his Uber there, so the Mexican Cat Ranch going to have some difficulty holding on to this point if they leave their heavy down for too long. It'll 11 seconds left, and oh, Stabby! Taking down Diddley Pow. TMP, meanwhile, using that detonator, takes down the Spy. And I uh, totally forgot TMP is in this game, who is probably one of the best Pyros in North America. Just going to watch that camera for a little while. But the Syndicate, I mean, having both TMP and Stabby on your team, I mean, that's, that's just cheating. So he's going to detonate or jump straight up here, go for the kill, maybe on the Soldier. Don't even know how he can keep track of what he's doing with mouse movements like that, but he can. And actually, was that a spy behind them? Yes. Found him! It's the dangers of playing against a Pyro. Although he did just get killed by Attila the Bum, who, wow, nice little uh, sniper spot there. It requires some, ooh, requires some good reflexes and uh, requires not getting chain stabbed, actually. But it uh, requires really good reflexes to fire through a hole that small and hit your target, especially in the head. That is some nice play there. The Syndicate has captured A and B right now. They've got nine minutes left to go, which is just about the same amount of time that their opponents actually took. So, you know, th this could still go their way. But the thing is, uh, we'll have to see. I think the Syndicate is going to take point C a little bit faster. Nice kill on Snailboat. And, oh! A defensive uber popped a little bit too early. The nozzle has a big uber advantage right now. JJK is in trouble here, but no, he does get saved. So yeah, I think the nozzle's gonna... Oh, he is forced early. Chester with a good uber force there, but... That's uh, not good. The medic is gonna try and retreat from here. Oh! Just barely got away. He is getting hit by a mini sentry, though, and a mini sentry of sexy shame. Gonna take him down. Look at that. That's a sexy mini sentry. And, yeah, this is the problem. Now, the Syndicate put together an attack that very quickly overwhelmed the Mexican Cat Ranch. And the ranch, they were just out of position. They're, you know, they got a really good uber force and could have gotten away with something pretty crazy there. Pepe actually got a couple kills, but C will get capped. So, not going to end up mattering in the long run. Um, yeah, the Syndicate put together that one push, and even though their uber was forced, they still got, like, three kills out of it. Which let them push straight onto point C. Just not worried about it at all. TMP now going to defend the medic for a little while as they try and traverse towards point D and E and try and get over towards somewhere they can be useful. Looks like they're watching out for that spy, and they do take him down. Stabby, meanwhile, is going to hop straight on the point. Go past it, actually. Uh, looks like he wants to maybe take out the engineer at the moment because that engineer is going to be... Oh, uh oh he's been spotted. The Mexican Cat Ranch. They know, uh, they know how to deal with spies around these parts. So the, yeah, the Cat Ranch is, I mean, they're decent on defense, but once you lose point C, that is probably all hope lost. Because it is so hard to keep point D and E defended. Even though they're right next to your spawn, practically, 
Um, at this point, there are so many avenues of attack available for the offense team, in this case the Syndicates, it, it just usually becomes a roll unless you can consistently find ways to ambush and shut down that team. And remember that window up there that Pepe was just shooting in? That window is all the way over from point A. This sniper's in trouble. Um, it, but you, you don't even have to go very far to spawn to get to this window. I'm sorry, I have terrible camera work, I know. But you can see right onto the point, and snipers use this to shut everything down without ever really getting in danger themselves. It's a nice sniping spot, and you get there very, very quickly. So uh, the Syndicate has a big advantage right now in that they can just choose where they want to attack. The only advantage the defenders have is that if they can keep most of their players alive, they'll be okay to defend you know, one point or the other. But once you lose a player, they get like a 20 second respawn time. Kyle gonna go sneak around the back, actually. I might be interested in seeing that. Uh, he may run into Billy Bob over here, though, which could be a little bit dangerous. Oh no, he isn't sneaking around the back anymore. I thought he was gonna go for a flanking move. That would have been super cool. But, oh, we missed Billy Bob. Oh, I'm so sorry. Billy Bob, you got an awesome kill there on Bravo, and he is probably gonna go around for some more flanking action. But uh, at this point, he's gonna have to face down a sniper. And that is what always happens to me with a detonator. I just, I can never hit anybody with it at all. It looks like it detonates on top of them, and it's like, nope, they're not lit on fire at all. Like, maybe, is it a percentage chance thing? Is it just like, oh, you only have a certain percent chance to hit, I don't know, to light them on fire? That would, that would explain it, I guess, if it were. But I don't think it is. Anyway, our blue team actually not putting together much of an attack right now. 5 minutes, 30 seconds left to cap 2 points. And Okay, so they are standing on E. They've got to be careful. The ranch actually is holding really far forward up here, which means they can come in behind the point and do some good damage. Uh, problem is, now they've got a sniper watching down on them, and uh, they got Gerardi over here for a little bit, so well, they've got an Uber up. That's going to be useful. But I don't think Billy even realizes that Sniper is actually still up there. I think he's still up there. Good reflects, though. So Billy Bob doing a good job, but JJK can just peek out here and... I think he can... Well, yeah. He can't fire straight down. But there you go, there is an Uber. They take down Diddly Pow, and then the Demo Man gets air blasted to his death. Stabby comes over here, helps get the kill on that Demo, who also fell to his death. Can this spy stop the cap on point D? Takes down one... Two, three, four players in a row. I'm not sure if he can save D. No, he did. That spy just single-handedly chain-stabbed his way to victory on point D. That actually is a huge deal. Uh, because guess what? If Blue manages to capture D, then the route... Here, I'll go back into spawn for a second. The route straight from this spawn towards E right here gets shut off. So it, it makes it super easy to, catch, uh, to capture E. So the fact that they saved point D right there is so huge, that spy just went big. Really, really big. And usually if a spy goes big, it's like, oh, you got a chain stab, that's nice, but it doesn't matter. But this one, it was like the ultimate clutch chain stab. Amazing. Amazing! So, uh, looks like our cat ranch might still be in the game, but if they throw away players like this, getting too far forward without a medic and without really any support... Uh, then they're going to be in a position like they are now. Oh, they've got a Crits Krieg, which is... Oh, they take down DMP, but nobody else. And Diddly Pow now taken down as well. So, yeah, I think that may end up being the round. There's just not enough players left alive for the red team at the moment to get an accurate defense up. They've got a couple of kills here. Um, Pico Death down, and Point E is sort of close to getting captured. There's like times four on it right now, but they've got a couple players that they're going to have to deal with. Uh, sniper going for the opposing sniper. That is a good move, good call, although he might have wanted to pay attention to his flank there. His TMP runs in, it gets two kills on the flank, and that might secure the victory. Uh, we've got a medic doing what medics do best, or actually worst, which is fighting. Um, and he only did that because he thought the point was going to get captured, and he thought, well, you know, the round is almost over, so I may as well just run and try to get the kills um, just in, on the off chance that I can stop it. But actually, the point is nowhere close. This scout is going to stand on He's going to get some pretty good capture time on there, but he's going to take a lot of damage in the process. And he manages to retreat. There's a demo on the point now. Now it's getting close again. So they are going to force their opponents to come out here and deal damage up close and personal, where the heavy is just going to reign supreme. Time six, time seven on the point. Only one player left alive. It is just the demo. He got one kill on TMP, but it was not enough. That was a closer round than I thought it was going to be. So Syndicate versus the Mexican Cat Ranch. Uh, the Syndicate is up one round, and we will be right back after they reset.
Alright, it's setup time for the second round, and hopefully not the last, because these teams actually look surprisingly even. The Mexican Cat Ranch. I don't know a lot of their players. Um, I used to. I know Snailboat. I have seen him play before. I don't know if I've played with him, but I know I've seen him play before. He's a pretty good player, but I don't know a lot of the other ones. Um, I used to know a couple, because a couple of my friends from 6v6 were actually on the team, but it uh, looks like that has entirely changed this season. And so I just don't recognize... I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. I know I've casted some of their games before, but I, I don't personally know a lot of the players on the red team. I know a few more on blue. I really do. TMP, Bravo, Stabby. Got a couple of those guys on the friends list on Steam. Uh, I don't have all that many, though, because I only have a limited number of friends on Steam. Valve. <coughs> so, uh... I would love to add everybody, but I can't. And so, already, Billy Bob down for the count for the Mexican Cat Ranch, and right now they are putting up a very solid wall of defense on A. Although, um, did you know that putting up a solid wall of defense only works if uh, if people can't rocket jump? And actually, if they can rocket jump, then your wall is meaningless. But the Syndicate, uh, they have an Uber, and they did what a lot of teams will do, not just on this map, but on any sort of stopwatch map where you've got a nice protected spawn. Uh, they actually forced their opponents to pop Uber early. They kept their medic in spawn, so he's perfectly safe, and then they Uber out here, uh, and they should be able to get point A relatively quickly. It's a good little strategy to, to play there, and TMP gets taken down. Wait, no, that wasn't TMP. That was a dead ringer activation, because TMP is totally still up and just wrecking face over here preventing that demo man from getting anywhere close to stopping the point capture. And they're just going to go straight on to B, so I like this play right now by our good old boys in blue, the Syndicate, who they do get to attack first now. Um, but actually, the Cat Ranch was ready for this, really ready for this. Looks like they backed off A, and they actually beat their opponents over towards B. Uh, they were, I guess they had to give up A after realizing what was going to happen. So they are prepared... They are settled in. They just have to worry about somebody attacking from this direction. And once again, we got a soldier over here. Bravo! It's taken out. So point E is going to be protected for a little while. And I mean, it makes sense. You know, the, the red team is still spawning from right up here. So there's not a lot that you can actually do to capture it unless you really get lucky. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a high risk strategy. It doesn't usually pay off. When it does, though. When it does. Chests are going to be just doing some good old soldier spam here. Watching. Oh, just barely missed that air shot. It's too bad. But the Uber is out for the red team right now, and their opponents have 80%. So they are going to need to back up or just eat a bunch of stickies and die. Uh, and actually, I think they ate a headshot there, too, for the heavy. So he was he was not doing too well. JJK, take him down. Got one of the barbers. And the syndicates. Now pushing forward with an Uber should be able to get a fair decent amount of positioning off of this. Uh, the nozzle walking out first, which is always a little bit scary, but he had the Uber and he pretty much knew what was he knew the forces that were arrayed against him, so managed to dodge successfully. Watching out for a spy. I think he might have called that out actually. Didn't put the heel beam on him, but he uh, he didn't call it out fast enough or the heavy wasn't listening, and so that of course caused the demise of the heavy. Sugar J will be respawning just now. Uh, and once again, somebody just putting a little tiny bit of pressure on point E, which is going to cause our red team to have to send someone back to take a look. And, of course, every time they do that, that's just going to give... Oh, that is not something you see every day. Uh, <laughs> snail boat, just give up. Oh, man. T TMP actually knocked a scout off the edge there. And, yeah, like I said, it's not something you see every day, because scouts have a double jump. So uh, th the fact that he managed to do that is pretty darn cool. Sexy Shane setting up a sexy flank over here from point A, and he's actually thinking about going off towards point D while the rest of his team caps B. And Okay, so now he knows that somebody's out here checking out his sentry. He's going to lay another one down, and Chester is going to walk right into it. Chester, we hardly knew ye. So Shane gets a nice little flank there. Oh, he's got a teleporter up here. That's why he's there. He's going to have his team teleporting in. Uh, behind enemy lines almost. In fact, yeah, that's really behind enemy lines because the enemy is going to be, you know, defending point C, which is whoosh all the way through here. Uh, and uh, they also have to defend point E at the same time. Of course, E is always available to be captured, but uh, it's much harder until you get to the end. And so they're... I wonder if they're even aware of this teleporter right now. It's... Okay, looks like they may have gotten it. Yes, they did. 
They got the teleporter, which is a pretty important thing, because they would have been flooded from the flanks if they weren't too careful there. Soldiers fighting soldiers up top. Chester does take down Bravo, and Snailboat sneaks in for a kill on Pig O' Death before dying to a heavy's nasty, nasty spun-up minigun. Diddly Pow eats a sniper shot, so he's going to have to go grab some health. And now we're going to watch our uh, this guy right here, who very nearly saved the entire round for his team last round. Gonna watch where he decides to go this time. Going to stay invisible, pretty much going from uh, metal kit to metal kit there. And he does probably need to decloak and start going for some stabs at this point. Oh, look who he spotted, and look who spotted him. Nope! Sorry about that. JJK, uh, what happened there is JJK actually heard the decloak. It's not a very loud, but you can you can hear it no matter which one you're using, unless you have that, uh, that... What on earth? Okay, so apparently Bravo decided to just not look down this hallway, and Stafford walked in and crushed him. Um, but yeah, you can always hear it unless you've got the... Uh, Saharan spy set, which makes a decloak sound completely noiseless. Uh, otherwise, though, it, you know that little whooshing sound. Yes, that is audible. So that is what happened there. Spy, I'm sorry, the sniper heard it and turned around and found it. Stereo sound is a wonderful thing. Stafford's B is actually using some really nice cover here. The rest of his team is helping him to maintain his position, and so he's getting some great damage off right now. Although his team is still losing a couple players, and uh, ooh, bloody nose there it does not look very good. Well, the Uber is over, and oh man, Stafford, we didn't get to see that, but Stafford just mowing people down as they try to walk up this hallway. Uh, still 240 health, and now he's going to go ahead and uh, heal up his soldier as well. you got to love that. I mean, he's basically a walking uh, health kit dispenser. It's a nice thing to be. But uh, Stafford's bees, which isn't, isn't that like a, a a lip balm cream or something? I want to say it's, uh, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Bert's, I'm thinking of Bert's Bees. Okay. Or am I? It's something like that. Uh, Stabby gets taken down. And right now, C is getting defended pretty well. TMP, I didn't see what happened there. Something something did not count that he wanted to count, very obviously. And what's happening now? The nozzle has died again. Billy Bob takes him down with the axe extinguisher. Axes him a question. Which, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that, but I will anyway. And now we've got kind of a reversal of the position we had before, where the blue heavy's standing up here, but he gets taken down real fast. JJK goes for a headshot, misses it, and the uber is popped on defense. So that's going to leave the heavy alive for just a little bit longer. Uh, five minutes left to go before the round is over. With no overtime, of course. And you gotta love that detonator jump. That is making him into a truly mobile flanking and ambushing class. Billy Bob versus TMP here. They're both going at each other, and TMP didn't really take a lot of damage there. Uh, stayed at about 141 health that whole time, which is nice. Oh, Stabby. Going for your tricks. So he's, going for a, yeah, he's going for a corner stab there, hoping that the pyro would, uh, would walk around the corner blindly and die to it. But he didn't. So, this time around, we don't get to see Stabby doing anything incredible. Um, Pepe takes down TMP, who was going for that kill. And he will now just start laying some sticky traps in these doorways in case his opponents decide to come down and play. Looks like uh, they are... No, oh, they are! Okay, JJK eats the dust. But Pepe is taken down. And so the blue team is uh, going to be ready to push... Pretty soon. They, yeah, they are getting on point C with a times five right now. Their engineer just making sure that his uh, buildings are maximally efficient. And we got some uh, some damage coming in, but really it's just two players left alive now. It's Billy Bob and Chester, and the two of them cannot hold off nine players. So point C gets capped. Eight minutes, 15 seconds. This is shaping up to be a long game, ladies and gents. Uh, hope you are settled in with some snacks or your snuggle up in your bed or wherever it is you watch these maybe at work and you've got a really long boring teleconference I know I have a lot of those uh, my boss would not like to hear me say it but I totally have a lot of those so uh, <laughs> uh, my old boss would have liked it even worse because well, never mind I'm not going to talk about that um, oh, can this medic get away? Oh, yes, he can. And the nozzle actually got taken down by that heavy. Nonetheless, uh, oh, pig of death is in a weird spot here. I don't even think you're allowed to cross that little threshold when you're on offense. So, really, Bob just going to have to grab some health. 
Ooh, a nice little mini crit there. Uh, I don't think it does a heck of a lot of damage, but, you know, like maybe 45 or so that you get every time you hit somebody who's already on fire with a, a detonator. And he's... Oh, he gets a nice little reflector, but I think that was just reflecting those stickies, and it didn't really push them very far. So once again, the Cat Ranch has actually settled in for a nice long defense on point D and E, which, I mean, they've shown they can put some really powerful D up on these two points. Surprisingly powerful. It's not something you'll see very often, teams being able to successfully defend these. So some uh, some good play here. And this guy was the one who single-handedly saved the point in the pass. He's going to pick a nice, safe decloak point, but he's got to watch out. Uh, oh, there you go. Gets a good stab. Uh, people can come up behind him there from spawn, and yes, he does get taken down after killing that sniper. Point E is under assault right now. Under siege. And there's a spy walking back there. Stabby Stabby's going to probably decloak up here. No, he's behind the medic. Takes down the engineer instead. Saps his stuff. And, oh, that's cute. Made it like yeah, made it look like he was going to walk across that as he was cloaking up. And then uh, immediately turned around. you got to love that. That is uh, that's a pretty standard spy thing, actually. But Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, now he's in a lot of trouble. No, sir. But yeah, that is a, it's actually a pr fairly standard spy thing to do. Uh, as you are cloaking up, you're still visible for about a second uh, as you, know, you become more and more translucent, and then you get to invisible. So you use that time to establish a direction and make people think that you're walking in that direction, and then you just turn around as soon as you know you're completely cloaked up. And they have no idea where you're going. Just make it random. Random is best, because nobody will ever be able to guess. If you always beeline, you know, if you always beeline for a health kit, then people are just gonna know. They're gonna be like, oh, well, he's going for the health kit. Boom, lay some sickies on the kit. You're done. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, the Mexican Cat Ranch has decided that they really need this land for ranching right now. Uh, they will not allow the farmers to fence them in. So, uh, those, those terrible cat farmers who are invading their territory, they are gonna try and stop them at whatever cost, and that includes deploying hideously expensive invincible soldiers which uh, looks like it's working so far these uh, these these cat ranchers they are fierce fierce and independent I don't really know where I'm going with this except to say that my Texas history is kind of mingling with TF2 and cat ranches right now and it's actually a pretty pleasant experience in my head maybe it's not a pleasant experience for you though I, I understand Stafford's bees actually gets away from that somehow and the syndicates I mean, they're pushing in. They're going to have to stand. You see where the caution zone is here with the uh, the orange bit on the floor. That is where they have to stand right now. Nobody actually standing there, so nobody's capping the points. And the medic is in some trouble. He's pulling out the... Is that the Uber saw? I think it is. The nozzle gets taken down, so uh, the nozzle has been shut off for the moment. Is that, uh, is that a pun? I don't even think that's a pun. I don't know what that counts as. It probably counts as Salamancer being dumb. Uh, Tilla, the bum who was, I think, the greatest bum in all of history, probably conquered half of the known streets of New York, uh, is going to be... Really what he's watching here is that window, because he knows it's such a good sniper spot. He wants to make sure it does not get used by his enemies. D and E still not captured, and this could be cute. Oh! Kills JJK before getting taken out himself. So a good little quick scope there. Bravo is going to have to knock out that mini sentry somehow. Looks like it has been knocked out. He did take it out with that rocket. And now, they've got a good little camp going on point D, so not a lot that Billy Bob can do. And here's the thing about once you're camping point D like this, assuming there's nobody on E, which there kind of is right now, there's a soldier here, but he's going to get stabbed, so not for much longer. Uh, if there's really nobody on E, you can kind of just keep your demo man and maybe your soldiers standing over here and camping. They didn't do that, which I think they probably could have. Uh, but no, they're just going to stack up E. Yeah, so this is what they need to do, yeah. Uh, the Syndicate needs to push maybe their Heavy and Soldier forward a bit. So that they, yeah, they can uh, take their opponents down as they walk out of this hallway. They do have TMP over there, so that's not a bad idea. And the Sniper going in, trying to buy a couple of extra precious seconds. The Pyro trying to push people off the edge. Looks like Stabby actually did fall. But it's not enough. And... Wow, look at that time. 1344, pushing it to the limit here. Uh, the limit of my voice, that is. I know it's going to go out before this game is over. But this is pretty exciting game so far. The Syndicate 
set a time that was, I mean, that's that might actually be the worst time of capping all five points I've ever seen on Steel, or very close to it. Well, they still capped all five, which is better than I've seen other teams do sometimes. But uh, <laughs> Kyle, not a fan of Steel, apparently. I like Steel. It, I mean, it's it's a little bit difficult to understand the map when you're first looking at it. So I, you know, I acknowledge that it's uh, it is a confusing map. But it offers so many flanking routes that uh, it, it it can give, well, I was going to say it can give a really, really strong variety of tactical play, or at least give the opportunity for that, but uh, even without all that many flanking routes, you look at, say, Gravel Pit, and that gives you just as much opportunity, so I don't know. Anyway, I like Stopwatch in general, especially for Highlander. Stopwatch is just where Highlander shines, and so immediately we do see the Mexican Cat Ranch pushing towards point A. They're going to have Chester come up here and maybe try to do some spam damage to the sentry, wherever it is. Heavy coming up as well. And Chester, oh no, he's actually waiting a little bit there, hoping that his heavy would actually take the aggro from the sentry so he can make a jump. Nice stab by stabby. How did he even get up there? I I don't know. No idea. But uh, going for a headshot. Oh, just barely too late for that one. And he is going to try to stop the cap on point A, so... Getting one or two shots off on this scout, but not actually getting the headshots. Uh, come on, Stabby. We know you're better than that. He's using the cloak and dagger right now, which will let him cloak as long as he wants to, but he won't be able to move that fast. There's that headshot we were looking for. Takes down Billy Bob, the pyro. And uh, here's some good defense coming out of the syndicate. My apologies. I'm an idiot. But it uh, looks like the offense just might win out on point A, and some nice explosive damage coming out of Pepe and Chester. That's a good combo there. They take down Bravo. They've taken down a lot of players up in that little hallway. So the thing about Steel, <clears throat> at least on point A, is that once you once you uh, lose your positioning out here and you're forced to walk through this narrow little choke point, you just shouldn't do it anymore because you are going to get owned. And that's pretty much true of any map. Oh! Walking through choke points will get you owned unless the enemies are just not watching them at all. And usually they are. You can't count on them not watching it. So you've got to be really careful about those. Sexy Shane. be setting up a dispenser here in this little hallway, which will kind of deny his enemy, you know, spy or whatever, access to that hallway. Kind of a neat little thing. And then that mini sentry is pretty much just going to be there as an early warning system because it will get taken down instantly. Or not. It's actually taking a lot of shots. What's going on here? Nice. It's actually doing a lot of damage over there. What is... Okay, Chester finally takes it down, but it did a, a heck of a lot over there. And he will probably just set down another one. Nope. Well, he did, but, I mean, then Shane died, so that's not going to last very long at all. And the Syndicate. Ooh. JJK takes a nice shot at Attila the Bum. But the Syndicate's having some difficulty holding on to point B right now. This is going to be a nice quick capture time on point B. The difficulty is always in those last couple of points, and Billy Bob is doing a pretty decent job of trying to protect his medic, but it's too late. JJK gets the kill on Diddly Pow. So that is going to be a little bit late Uber for the blue team. Then again, oh! Billy got so close to killing that medic, and then JJK came in to get that kill too. Uh, the nozzle is retreating though into spawn and doesn't really have anybody left to walk out and defend B. B is now safely in the hands of the blue team, nice and locked down, and our uh, Asian spy, I just, I don't even know what to call him because I cannot read any Asian languages at all, um, but our Asian spy there does get taken down by a wm one invincible pyro, which, I mean, TMP's okay with that. He knows sometimes it is just better to hold down that mouse button hold down W and destroy people, especially if you're invincible. I mean, why not? What just happened here? I have no idea, but we had the amazing flying Pyro, who somehow still died. He did, however, light Kunami on fire, and so that engineer is gone. I don't know how he got up there. I'm not even sure he knows how he got up there, but he got up there. And now the Syndicate holding on to point C. They are actually getting a little bit of pressure from E here, and we're going to have to go check that out. It's going to be right through this. Boom. There we go. Pretty close there. So yeah, the uh, pressure on E was short-lived, although that scout can go back there anytime he wants, and oh, nice little flank there, doesn't manage to quite take down Pigo Death, he's done some good damage, but 33 health left on this guy, and oh yes, a deal with a soldier and demo man, 
So really good kills here. That's actually almost the entire red team wiped, and of course uh, the blue team will know that. I mean, they're going to be hitting tab, just like I just did. They're going to be hitting tab, and they are going to know that their opponents are down a lot of players. So when you hit tab like this, and it's like, oh look, it's 8 on 3, well, that is just an invitation to push as fast and as hard as possible. So they will be capturing C, and good... Oh! <laughs> so much splash damage, and it just did quite get the kills, but that's still going to be really useful. Yep, there you go. TMP tries to stop it, but he and Pigo Death both down again, as is Bravo, and the Nozzle having some difficulty here, too. They need to push out and get some kills. Uh, Uber looks like it's just fading, ooh, fadling <laughs> for Diddly Pow here. Fading is what I meant to say there. Sugar J ends up uh, eating too many minigun bullets, though, and Stabby going to try and stop this cap. Oh, <laughs> how do you do that? Just, just how do you do that? I don't even know. But uh, D and E both getting capped at the same time. Stabby going to try and use a little spot there to get some kills, but it's not going to happen. And this is some good camping going on with Sticky Bombs up there in that choke point. So D is capped now. Everybody from the red team either has to come out here or come out towards point C, which is an even longer wraparound to try and defend that point E. So with eight minutes left to go, I think the Cat Ranch might just win this round, actually. I think. I mean... You know, I could be wrong, but uh, that looks pretty good for him. You tell me. And with Billy Bob standing here on the point, he will be able to air blast opponents away from it if they try and stop the cap, so that's it. Uh, we are going on to a third stopwatch round, ladies and gentlemen. It's one to one. So we get to watch one more setup round. And we have, uh, we do have dicks versus dicks. But yeah, it's, it's, it's actually uh, the Syndicate's turn to defend again, and it will be the Mexican Cat Ranch, their turn to attack. Um, this is something that I actually do not like to see going on in spawn. Um, and maybe maybe they'll stop soon, but... Oh, my abs really hurt right now. I don't know why that is. Um, maybe they'll stop soon, but hurting yourself in spawn, the only thing that does for you is uh, prevents your medic from getting maximum overheals on everybody. Because you're always going to be building Uber at the maximum rate. And you may as well... Um, you may as well be maximally overhealed on everyone. Because remember that if you've taken damage recently within the last, you know, 10 or 12 seconds, then your, overheal, your healing rate, basically, on you is going to be much slower. So the medic can't heal you as fast. And that means that the overheal won't happen as fast, which just means that you're going to... You're going to come out the gate with less health overall, which is just a little bit of a disadvantage. Not a huge one. You know, it's not like it's going to make or break the game, but it is just a little bit of a disadvantage. So, Billy Bob going to come over here and, and once again put a little bit of capture time on point E. Just putting some pressure here with his friendly scout. And he's actually using the detonator to try and uh, ward off enemy snipers from that window. It's a cute little strategy. Um, the defending team here, the Syndicate, I mean, they're they're pretty much putting a lot of energy on point A right now, which, you know, for better or for worse, means that point E here is, uh, oh, Billy. Uh, point E is going to get very close to getting capped. Billy, one health left. Just one. Still managed to make it away. Although, it looks like somebody's got his number. Pigo Death knew where he was, but Billy could go for more capture time. Looks like he doesn't want to, though. Uh, instead, may go for some burnination through point... Yep, he's going to do it. Okay, nobody there. And it looks like his team's actually going to get the cap on A. Uh, so now his scout's here on E, and he can actually just stand right next to spawn if he wants to, but he isn't going to do that. He is instead going to stand here on the point himself. His heavy's going to come up here and do some, uh, some damage, though. And whose horn was that? It was the red team. Oh... Okay, it looks like maybe, yeah, Billy Bob did die there. So that's going to mean that point E won't get captured for a little while. And look at that, point A not capped either. Lots of players on our blue team dying. Red is uh, looking pretty good right now. The Syndicate can hold on to this for a while here on point A. There is going to be some pressure coming this way from a roving demo man. Always a scary thing to see, especially when you've got a medic and a pyro backing him up. Uh, so I do think A may end up getting captured here. Just, just might. And there's the Uber from uh, Diddly Pal. They should be able to take down the nozzle here unless he gets back into spawn, which I think he has. So that Uber is going to come out and probably... Oh, oof, okay, probably save that point for now. 
Yeah, they're going to be able to block the point. Because do you remember, even if you just have one person standing on that point from the defending team, it completely blocks all captures. And a nice little headshot there by JJK. The Syndicate doing a really nice job on defense right now. Point E has no capture time left on it. Uh, they have held that one off very well. Bravo tried to get away, though, and couldn't do it. Once again, more pressure on E, but it's, it's not really that hard to defend E when A has not been captured yet. That medic is done. He is just done. No, sir, you're gone. Get out of here. And so uh, I'm not liking the Mexican Cat Ranch's chances right now. They are in trouble. They're just in trouble. The Syndicate has a really nice defense going on. Now, I mean, there's still capturing going on on point E, but this is pretty much going to be a waste. Chester ends up dying there. Um, let's see. Ooh, Stabby using the spy signal. He's going to have to knock out that little mini sentry. And his opponent actually did see him. Now doesn't know where he is, though. A, a really good use of the cloak. But one more shot on Stabby. Could take him down. Nope, he got away. He got away. Wish I could get away with it like that. But I can't. I'm a terrible spy. If you've ever seen me play, you know. And look at that. Stabby once again spots the teleporter here. That forward teleporter, which has been used so many times. But he takes it... Wait, did he take it down? Maybe it was just destroyed automatically by the engineer. Nonetheless, look at the capture time. This is some incredible defense going on right now by the red team. The Syndicate is... I mean, they've already held the point off for like three or four minutes just on point A. And so, I think to really secure a victory here, the ranch is going to have to pull off a steamroll. Once they've captured A, they will have to capture every single point in quick succession. Uh, and look at this, another... Buff Banner coming in, which is going to give everybody on the red team mini crits. They are going to take down the Nozzle once again. He gets actually uh, gets finished off there by the fall damage. Wow, this is not looking good for the blue team right now. Nope. Mexican Cat Ranch just having too much difficulty, and they're splitting their push way too much. Like, they're not going to get point E right now. It's just not going to happen. So they need to... I mean, maybe the thought process is that they want to try and draw enemy attention away from point A, but really they just need to get in here and put everything into point A. They need to get an uber advantage, which right now they have. Taking down the nozzle with a really good backstab from that blue spy. So, I mean, it, that's good positioning. But they got to watch out for Stabby. Who knows where that guy is right now. And they do need to set up their traps here up on point A. There you go. They should be able to set them up now. TMP is taken down. So did Kyle earlier. So there you go. Finally, point A captured, which is going to add a little bit of time there. But, yep, five whole minutes just on that one point. So this is uh, this is starting to look a little bit scary here for the self-sustaining Mexican Cat Ranch. They are going to use the attack through E instead of through B, which I like. I always like seeing that. They Doing this, they have a choice of whether they want to go for... Oh, scary! Whether they want to go for E or for B. Because yeah, they can just walk through here. They've been spotted, and it's very obvious which way they're going now. So they're not going to get any sort of uh, positioning surprise advantage. Uh, Kunami is setting up another teleporter back here, and that isn't going to work. So Bravo and Pigo Death doing their job really well, shutting that down very easily. And now we're going to go towards point B here, as our blue team is set up for another attack. But they got to watch their flanks, because that scout just walked right in, stood still, and got his head shot off. You ever seen those servers, by the way, that have... Uh, that have like the mod where your head explodes once it's been shot. Those are pretty hilarious, I gotta say. And by the way, if you have stuck with me to this point in the video, you're awesome because I was looking at my analytics the other day and it seems like only about maybe a half or a third of uh, of people who watch these videos actually stick around until after halftime. So, you know, you're not missing out. You are getting all this action, which is excellent. And there you go. Once again, our Mexican Cat Ranch is trying to cap this point. They should be able to get B this time around. we got to watch for the spawns coming in. But all they have on them right now is a scout. So that scout not going to be able to do a heck of a lot. Let's see if Sugar J can stop the uh, point here, though. Going for spy checking. Very zealous about that. And he's going to take a lot of damage here if he's not careful, as is his medic. And there he goes. <laughs> that is the pit in point E. So, Mexican Cat Ranch, not a bad position right now. They've taken down the Heavy, but they need to take down a lot more players here. 
and they need to get some good positioning over point C, which they have right now. Oh, look at Chester, two kills, one rocket, including the Medic and Pyro. Beautiful little flank there by Chester is probably going to secure his team a quick cap on point C. They don't have anywhere near an Uber yet, but their opponents, I mean, down a Medic, that is not a good position to be in. They're going to come out and try and stop this. They've got a heavy demo walking out here, which they, it could work. But uh, Chester's going to get some heals going on right now, as is the rest of his team, and, and they can just play with the healing advantage. There you go. They've got point C, which is one of the toughest points to capture. Um, oh, Chester once again with the flank on the nozzle takes him down, and he is on a rampage right now, finally killed by the pig of death. But the Syndicate losing so many players on defense right now, are they even going to be able to defend point D? I don't know. Stabby gets away from that temporarily. But uh, he's going to try and sneak out here. That spy's got to know. He's got he's got to be aware of this. And yeah, Stabby, I mean, he's no longer in a position to stop this cap on point D. So this is exactly what the, the Cat Ranch needed. They needed a steamroll. And, oh, they didn't get D. That is literally the closest I've ever seen. Stabby just stole some Uber. Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that's the closest I've ever seen a point to getting captured without being captured. And now it's going to start crawling back down. Wow. Wow. And now it's going to go right back up. Because, once again, there are people attacking, and when you are attacking a point, I mean, of course, the objective is to stand on it and get the captures. Still not quite there. They've taken down the nozzle. That was a good kill by Billy Bob. But uh, point D is going to start losing time rapidly. Of course, the longer you stay off without touching it, the faster the point starts to lose capture time. And there you go. Oh, man, look at these ice sculptures going on in here. Stabby's gotten some kills. Snailbolt coming in to try to finish this point off. But, I mean, if you just send in players one at a time, you are liable to lose a lot of them and not really gain much tactical advantage at all. In fact, they're losing more and more time on point D. Attila the Bum is going to come over here, but I think the Cat Ranch is going to start to feel their chances of winning slip away if they cannot get these kills. And right now, Attila, mm, he gets one shot off at the Engineer. But I don't think he's going to get another. Not anytime soon. Oh, looking for that Sniper, but his scout managed to take him out. That's a good thing. There you go. Taken down. Sexy Shane. Looking for some more kills over here. He's going to try and prevent himself from getting hit by standing behind a little column until he is fully charged with the sniper rifle. Of course, that charge there on the sniper rifle does give you some extra time, but we're going to check out what Bravo is doing right now. Bravo uh, didn't realize that there was going to be a spy up his butt, so uh, that got him killed. And there's only three players left alive right now. The nozzle trying to fire some needles out towards point E, but that is just not going to be very effective. JJK takes down Snailboat, so... You know, a little bit useful there. But the nozzle just got respawned because you can't go towards point E that way anymore and you can't be sitting in there once D is captured. So, the nozzle is going to take his team out actually through point C. They're going to try and sneak around for a uh, flank over here. Oh, but the nozzle fell down. And that means that this flank is going to be fighting uphill. Not an easy position to be in. Uh, oh, no. Only three players left alive for the Syndicate. So, I think this might end up being a nice little, uh, a nice little time. Not a, not a great time, but a decent time set by the Mexican Cat Ranch and the Syndicate. They're trying to get their Uber up, but it is not going to be in time to get to uh, stop E unless something can happen. And oh, beautiful kill by Snailboats. That's the problem with trying to flank from over there. Is that I mean, you're just going to get, uh, going to get killed. And so that is it. Well, not quite it. We do have one final attack, and that is going to come from the Syndicate. They have to beat 11 minutes. Have they done that yet? Because I think in their first round, uh, they might have beaten it by a little bit, but it wasn't by a lot if they did. Because the first round was like 12, 12.30, something like that. And uh, they beat it maybe by two minutes. So yeah, it's getting around there. The, I mean, these have been some long, long rounds. So I'm kind of excited to see whether the Syndicate can beat this. It all comes down to this last attack, the last gasp. I'm going to eat this little popcorn kernel right here because mm, they are delicious. Oh, mm. I just cracked my tooth open. Ow. Anyway, uh, you know, aside from uh, aside from Salamancer's dental health issues, you are going to see whether the Syndicate can win this round. I think they can. I think they'll be able to do it. But the question is whether they are actually 
going to, because they have the ability. They've got some good players, they've got some good tactics, they've got some good teamwork. But sometimes those just don't come together under the right circumstances. The stars do not align, as it were. And they are popping an Uber early out here. They did take down a sentry gun, but it took it down with uh, with a flamethrower, which tells me that it was a mini sentry, so not going to be super useful. And no Uber popped out of Diddly Pow yet. There you go, he finally pops his. They haven't taken down the nozzle, but look at Billy Bob using that detonator to maximum effect. Well, at least he would have been if he'd gotten any kills out of that. And there you go, the uh, sniper is taken down, so that's not too bad. It's not too bad there, Billy. But I'll tell you what, um, his detonator jump there, I mean, it, it's good positioning, but everybody retreated back into spawn, so not going to get too much out of it. And uh, oh, watch out, Medic. Do watch out. So, uh, this this spy, oh, this is a cute little position for the spy. Nobody's going to realize he is there at all. Decloaking, and he takes down the nozzle. Beautiful kill. That's all he needed to do. Everything else from there would have been gravy if he'd gotten it. Didn't get it, though. Nonetheless, his team is mostly down, so they will not be able to defend A properly because they're going to have TMP up here to do some, uh, some good, proper spawn camping. And one air blast right there, by the way. Just, uh, I think just air, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Extinguished three of his teammates or so. And I think you get a point each time you extinguish a teammate, by the way. So, uh, should be relatively high up there. 26, not too shabby. Although the points are kind of telling the story here. Um, the heavy medic combo, Stafford's Bees and Diddly Pow are doing a great job on the red team. They are top fragging like beasts. The heavy keeping up with the medic means that he is getting some great opportunities. And Stabby, gonna have to watch out for this. His cloak is slowly draining away, and oh, he got spotted. Uh, he might get away. Nope, never mind. So let's, I'm, I'm gonna watch this heavy and see what he does. Actually, once again, we do seem to be in a situation where the cloak and dagger spy is super useful. And you don't hear that every day, but that's because you're usually talking about pubs. Oh, no! Not going to work at all. So we'll watch Stafford's Beast Cam for a little while. Even though the rest of his team is dead, what you do when your team is dead is actually super important. Because, uh, I mean, it can make or break a defense sometimes as to whether you can hold a position or whether you have to back up, stay alive, and live to fight another day. And we'll see. It looks like Stafford uh, uh, he might be able to get away with it. Stabby taken down there by a nice little headshot, and so Stafford temporarily walking into those windows, but those windows are going to get covered. Everybody knows they're there. They're no secret. So it's going to be the entire red team losing point B. Eight minutes and 13 seconds left to go, and Stafford gets taken down, so I guess we didn't catch his glory moment there. Mm. Well, TMP going to start going, I think, for some flanks over here. Um... Yep, and he does force an Uber out of the red team, but he is going to have to back away from that because he's at 2 health. I mean, I don't usually like to fight when I have 2 health. In real life or in the game. And Pepe -Pe managed to take him out anyway. <coughs> oh, my voice is going to die. It just is. It doesn't help that I got, like, 6 hours of sleep last night and then had to give a presentation to the CIO today. So, uh, it sucked. But when you get home, and the first thing you do is cast TF2. Well, the first thing I did was play TF2, but then I casted TF2. Hey, feels pretty good, man. Feels pretty good. The Syndicate is in a decent position here. They don't have an Uber advantage, but I, th I guess I thought they would, but maybe I just wasn't paying any attention at all. My bad. Um, but now, attacking point C through these doors is a tough thing to do. I mean, you're having to attack into a sniper. You're having to attack into sticky traps, which could be anywhere. A soldier can jump on top of you. Uh, and just getting over to the point, even after you cross over those rocks, I mean, you're, you're walking through a field of fire that is just mayhem out there. So, right now, they are waiting until their Uber is built up. And actually, they are going to... I don't know what they're doing. I thought maybe they were going to go for flank, but right now it appears they just want to walk through here and look for an opportunity to dodge the spam, get out there, and get some kills. Stabby's down for the count, though. And there's the Uber. Popped a little bit early. Chester going to be happy about that one. I think he forced the pop. Uh, and it's popped, once again, on TMP, the Master Pyro. Or is it the Master Potato? Uh, and wow, some nice flanking action there by Stafford. So we did get to see him take down Bravo. And now Chester going to take a full overheal, going for the demo. 
And he actually popped him enough up in the air there that, uh, who was that? That was, uh, oh, that was the spy who finished him off with a nice little revolver shot. Pot shot, as it were. So Chester, yeah, Chester doing exactly what you gotta do there on uh, the point C defense, which is jump up constantly. Just see if you can't get some, well, not constantly, but jump up when you feel like you should. Which, I gotta tell you, the proper game sense to know when to jump up and when to fall back, that's actually something that you need to develop over uh, quite a bit of practice. Or maybe you could just be like a super genius whiz kid and just know it automatically, but I don't. I always jump at the worst possible times. So Point E getting captured right now, which could end the game here. And the Syndicate, I think they realize that their their attempt on E is getting some traction. Uh, the, oh no, they got to watch out! I can't even talk right now. They gotta watch out for the Uber coming in. Uber Pay Pay is actually doing some really amazing damage right now, and he has almost single-handedly stopped this. The rest of his team was there to help. Cannot detract from the rest of the self-sustaining Mexican Cat Ranch. They have held off the attack on point E. Now they got to walk right back over to point C and make sure that it is properly defended. The medic there are going to be watching out for Pigo Death. Oh, who did take down the medic and pyro for the defenders. That's going to hurt. It's going to mean that the nozzle may get a bit of a uh, uber advantage. Where is Stabby? There we go. Yeah, whatever, says Stabby. No problemo. But the problem is, now he's actually being chased down a little bit. Yeah, so he was not able to get behind enemy lines here, which is really what he wanted to do. Ooh, a nice shot there on Attila the Bum, though. And he gets flanked by an engineer. Flanking engineers, super effective, by the way. If you can manage to be a flanking gunslinger engineer, you are well on your way to being a great TF2 player. Because it's like playing, you know, you basically, it's like the scout. You don't get quite as much damage ramp up on the shotgun as you do on the scout's scattergun. But you also get a mini sentry, which you can just drop down any old place you want. Uh, so it's, it's basically a whole bunch of extra damage per second that somebody's going to have to deal with. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with a good old flanking mini sentry engineer running around and uh, getting behind enemy lines, shotgunning people in the backs, Texas style. And and yes, that happens in Texas. It's actually not one of our prouder points. Um, but the Syndicate, I mean, they've got 340 left to cap C, D, and E, or just cap E, either way. But they got to get their rears in gear. Uh, oh, JJK going for the kill on the soldier, was not able to get it. And now the Mexican Cat Ranch is in a little bit of trouble here as their medic and soldier are going to have to run away from a heavy. They will get away for now, but watch that engineer going for the... Uh, oh, TMP! Where did that even... Where was he? Wow, that was ridiculous. Uh, that, that what? That was even more ridiculous. So, TMP... Um, I guess he was totally satisfied with that reflect kill. So satisfied that he was like, my life is over, I will just never top that. So uh, he went ahead and killed himself. Maybe he just he wanted to even up the game a little bit. He was just like, no, it's okay, guys. I'll uh, I'll kill myself just so that you uh, don't have to worry about it so much. But look at this, the Mexican Cat Ranch, once again, losing a lot of players. And he, uh, uh, interesting decision. Once you've gotten this many kills, I would think that the Syndicate really would want to go for a cap on C and just push that really hard and then try and push D really hard and steamroll all the way through because trying to cap E at this point, even if you get a player advantage, it's not that good uh, because they can just respawn and walk right out there and kill you. TMP in a little bit of trouble doing some surfing over there on the side. Oh, took that engineer a little bit by surprise, but Kunami did stay alive with the help of his medic. Yeah, now this is the problem. If, the, if you haven't capped C yet, those ramps do not extend, and so you can't get everybody on the point. The people you do get on the point are going to have to deal with like this mini sentry trying to knock them out of the air. So there were like two points there. there. There were two different points in time where the Syndicate had wiped out practically their opponents. Uh, there were only like three defenders up, and there were eight attackers, and they just made the wrong choice. Uh, they really should have tried to get in position to capture point C. Now it's a minute 45 left and they haven't captured it yet. This is looking like the Cat Ranch might be able to pull it out and get the victory. I will be very impressed with them if they can do that. But we'll find out. Looks like uh, <laughs> the spy... Uh, oh, okay. okay. I was going to say that would be a hideous face stab, but no, Pepe actually just kind of got poked to death, which is possible. The, the stab does damage even if you don't get the backstab. You're still doing damage. And <laughs> Pepe upset just a little bit. Oh, this could be hideous. 
And there you go. Sugar J and TMP both falling down. The Nozzle getting a headshot. There's about a minute left to go here. And basically, now that there's only a minute, the Syndicate has to focus on point E. They cannot cap C and D quickly enough. They they have to go for E. And, I mean, this is starting to look really bad for them. The, the ranch, they know now. They know that there is going to be all this pressure on point E. So all they have to do is stand out here and, and just put up a full defense on point E and not even worry about the rest of the points, which is really going to play into their favor. TMP gets a nice reflect kill over here, uh, and he's going to start putting on clutch mode. I think they all are at this point. But, uh-oh, <laughs> this might be too late. TMP in some trouble here, going for some kills, but it, he, did, uh, he did put some pressure on. But point E is nowhere close to getting captured right now. 30 seconds left to go, and there's nobody on it. That's pretty much going to be GG right there as... Uh, you would need, at this point, you'd need like a times 10 capture rate just to get it in 20 seconds. So guys, that's Mexican Cat Ranch actually winning the game. This has been an amazing little game here between the Syndicate and the Cat Ranch. Came down to the wire, but uh, the Cat Ranch just managed to pull it out with superior defense. Uh, both teams with the offense weren't the best, but man, what a game. That is a win for the Mexican Cat Ranch. So guys, thank you so much for watching been awesome and you as always are awesome uh this medic even even though he lost he's awesome too and uh, i do hope you keep watching hit subscribe and if you have been watching all the way to the end here uh by the way you rock because I, here's the other thing about uh, the analytics that i was looking at i'm just gonna go on a rant here for a little while uh the analytics i was looking at is like as soon as the actual game ends so all this like outro stuff that i do nobody watches that at all it's just like, nope, the, the viewership drops down to practically zero. So you guys don't want to hear my voice after the game's over. You're just like, screw that, Salamancer, get out of here. So uh, if you stuck around to the very end, you get a gold star in my book. Thank you very much.